let's talk some DC news. By the way, did you know we're officially now calling it the DC Expanded Universe, DCEU? I know all of us had been calling it that for a while, but now it's official, which, I don't know, makes it a little bit better, right? Okay, so I just want to do a rundown of the latest DCEU news, including rumors, leaks, and official news. So if any of that stuff bothers you, don't watch. So first, and this ties into talking about the Flash solo movie, we know that the Batman releasing in 2021 starring Robert Pattinson, that is officially part of the DCEU. Now, we don't know if it takes place on a separate Earth or an else world than Jason's Aquaman and Wonder Woman's universe, played by Gale, of course, but I kind of hope it is. And I think think, and I've been talking about this quite a bit, but there were new leaks that the Solo Flash movie is going to deal with time travel, alternate timelines, Flashpoint changing things around. And this is nothing new. The Flash going back in time using the Speed Force to save his mom from being killed and then coming back to present time and oh my god, what have I done? And every script leak we've had so far has shown that they are going to play with that, but it seems more likely now with the recent leaks, they are going that way. And if you're wondering why they would do that, basically they can reset their main world how they want. So we know Gale's gonna stay as Wonder Woman. We know Jason Momoa is going to stay as Aquaman because those movies were successful. But they're wondering, okay, are we gonna keep... <laughs> Henry as Superman? Are we going to keep Ben Affleck as Batman? They can change that a bit by when Barry goes back to the present. Wait, why does this Batman look like Robert Pattinson? That's kind of weird. It also makes sense since they have recast Iris. I mean, I guess they could do the tradition of just replacing the love interest with a different actress and pretending like nothing happened, but he could go through time go back and it's a different person who's Iris and he could be like, what? So it could all work out. Which speaking of that, I know you guys have probably seen a lot of rumors going around that Henry Cavell is back as Superman. Just know so far there's nothing official. And the most credible sources are saying that Henry is basically in talks with Warner Brothers of what and how would happen if he played Superman again. I feel like that sentence didn't completely make sense, so let me say that in a better way. So basically, Henry is talking with them, if I came back to play Superman again, whether in a solo movie or maybe as a cameo, how would that happen? So nothing is concrete now, unless before I release this video, they released an official statement saying he is, which would be my luck. Don't believe the people saying, oh yeah, for sure, Henry's back. He's just talking with the studio as of right now. Which, by the way, J.J. Abrams is rumored to be directing a Superman movie in the future. And I think J.J. is a great director. He's a fantastic director. Writer? Not so fucking much. So if he's just directing a future Superman movie, A+, plus, completely behind it. If he's writing it, please God, no. Although it is official that he is writing and directing a Justice League Dark HBO Max series. The content creator, content chief for HBO Max did say, yeah, for sure that is happening. So that's exciting. JJ, Matt Ryan back as Constantine. Ooh, and speaking about HBO Max's DC shows, we're being told that they have movie level budget and the cinematics, the CGI is going to be on par with their DC movies. So really cool. It has me really hopeful. I love how many studios have realized, oh yeah, streaming services, kind of the way of the future. I mean, no offense to anyone that likes to go sit in a movie theater and pay an obscene amount for popcorn and a drink and be around a bunch of people you don't know, coughing and talking and making stupid comments. But if I can watch something at home, I'm all about it. Okay. I want to go through some other really quick DC news before I talk about something very near and dear to my heart. First, Black Adam starring The Rock begins filming August 31st of this year in Atlanta, Georgia. 
You'll also be relieved to know that filming can start up soon for a lot of comic book movies, but with heavy restrictions. We got a few new Wonder Woman 1984 photos, but nothing too crazy good. Patty Jenkins revealed that she was asked to create a Justice League movie, and she turned down because she felt like, I can't connect to a Justice League movie because there's too many characters. I do wonder what her Justice League movie would be like, but I'm happy that she stuck to her own artistic vision and said, yeah, this won't work for how I like to make movies. Margot Robbie is in talks for the next Harley Quinn-centered movie, which isn't a surprise because Warner Brothers has made a shit ton off of Harley Quinn and Harley Quinn merchandise. I should know. I own a lot of it. Charlie Hunnam suggested that Warner Brothers did ask him to play Green Arrow, but so far nothing has come of it. And yes, if you look at him, he would be the perfect Green Arrow. There are new posters for the Doom Patrol season two, which by the way, season two begins June 25th on HBO Max. Definitely watch it. If you haven't seen season one, go fucking watch it. Now, let's talk about the Snyder Cut because who isn't excited about it? Monsters, that's who. In case you're not up to date, the Zack Snyder Justice League cut is happening. It will be on HBO Max starting next year. And apparently the CEO of Warner Brothers wishes in order to make his uh, Snyder cut, it was only 30 million. It's gonna be a lot more, but we don't know if that entails just post-production work and CGI, or if they're gonna have to film a little bit as well. Kind of mixed reporting on that. Interestingly, J.K. Simmons says that Zack Snyder actually asked permission of the cast to do this. So it just wasn't Zack Snyder going, okay, enough people want the Snyder cut, I'm gonna do it. He actually asked everyone, hey, is this okay? And he had an overwhelmingly positive response to it. Just every single cast member of the Justice League movie seemed to be, dude, do it. Ray Fisher, in fact, broke down and cried a little bit when he heard that Zack Snyder's cut was going to happen. And by the way, Ray Fisher as Cyborg, he doesn't know if a future Cyborg movie will happen or if he'll return, but he's really hoping for it. And I feel like we should really campaign for it to happen. Interestingly, Jesse Eisenberg also isn't sure if he'll be back as Lex in any future movies, saying that they don't even know what they're doing with the movies, but he'd love to play the role forever. He also is one of the people, when I said the entire cast, I meant it, that he's friends with Zack Snyder and he was super happy for him when he asked, hey, is this okay that I do this? Mm, and really quick before I go on to a next bit of exciting news. So, this was a question, and it was a pretty shitty question asked by a reporter, and the response was beautiful. So I just wanna go over that really quick because I fucking love the response. So a reporter asked this bullshit question to the HBO Max executive, Tony, saying this. Last week, HBO Max announced that next year it would release the fabled Snyder Cut of 2017's Justice League movie. As one of my colleagues put it, how many more disappointing movies will get the same treatment? And is there any concern about creating an entitled fandom mentality? To which Tony responded, look, there's a fandom around friends, which is why the reunion is such an epic moment for television. Look, I go back to the consumer absolutely has to guide your decisions. And given what we put together, it's pretty evident that we've listened. Yeah. Uh, get Rex. I feel like this does not create an entitled fandom. It just means Warner Brothers really messed up with a lot of stuff, which by the way, there's been a lot of talk and push for a Suicide Squad director cut. And David Iyer is like, yeah, let's make it happen. And what's even cooler is we know James Gunn is doing his Suicide Squad 2 movie. And he even said, Warner Brothers, David, wants to release his cut of Suicide Squad? Go right ahead, it's whatever you wanna do. He's, James Gunn is very supportive of a lot of people and I absolutely adore him. And if you follow David on Twitter, he seems really passionate about getting his cut out there, saying that there is a film he made that has never been seen because the studio, quote, Edward Scissorhand treatmented it. And I'm really serious, go to David's Twitter and see what he's saying about his Suicide Squad cut and 
if we actually get to see it next year or even in 2022, and there's so much Joker footage and everything else that was cut out, I would love it so much. We, if we're getting a Justice League Snyder cut, we need a Suicide Squad director cut. Make it happen, Warner Brothers. Amend for your past sins. So yeah, that is some DC news. Let me know what you think about all of that. I know I'm too pumped because I'm a DC fangirl, but you know, shit happens, man.